Okay, hello everybody. So this is Joyce Gotra and I'm presenting the paper ID 24139 at this uh, IEEE WCCI 2020 World Congress on Computational Intelligence. Uh, the topic of our paper was improving Cuckoo search algorithm incorporating changes for CEC 2017 and uh, CEC 2020 management The authors, my co-authors are Urvinder Singh. Dr. Urvinder Singh is a, a associate professor at Thapa University uh, Patiala, India, uh, Supana Sa, she is from uh, IIT Patna at uh, India, and Amir H. Kandami from the University of Technology, Sydney. So I am the corresponding author, and uh, I uh, seriously appreciate and welcome you all here on this conference. Uh, thank you for joining. So let me start briefly with the basic outline of this paper, and uh, it includes the uh, introduction, cookie search algorithm, and then I'll be discussing about the proposed approach which I have proposed here, then the result and discussion section, and finally the references about the slide. So, as we all know that nature is an optimizer and has been doing amazing things uh, since long, like from the centuries it has been doing, trying to understand, adapt, explain, and replicate natural systems such as eyes are doing the finest way to uh, percep for perception, our uh, heart is doing pumping action and like other things, reflex action and very other things. These are like all the things in our human body. Apart from that, uh, the pollen transmission in, uh, in flowers and uh, the search for food by different organisms is a kind of uh, optimizing solution, is optimizing, is a kind of finding new solution within the space. So this is what nature is ultimately doing from past so many years and uh, uh, different agents like birds and uh, like uh, biogeography based species like the, uh, what we call birds, which minimize the distance for searching their foods and ants, uh, find thermal, uh, uh, release ferment trails to find the optimal solution or search for the potential mating partner. So these are, uh, the, these are a few examples from the nature being an optimizer. Apart from that, uh, this, this, this theory, which has been uh, previously highlighted, has been commonly used. And now the uh, new algorithms have been derived based on this. And uh, these algorithms are called as nature and spine algorithms. The most important and the most powerful algorithms still date. And have been found to have a lot of advantages with respect to other corresponding, uh, what we call the classical optimization algorithms. Uh, they have been formulated from uh, swarm behavior, which is the particle swarm optimization from the uh, evolution of species, that is the genetic algorithm or the differential evolution, then the cuckoo search algorithm, and then, then there are a lot of other things which are already there. So search is already going on in this, and there is way too much into this. Let's get along. And uh, based on that, there are a lot of other optimization algorithms are basically divided into three types, that is swarm intelligent algorithms, evolutionary algorithms, and others. So swarm intelligent algorithms are basically those algorithms which uh, are based upon the swarming behavior of the, of the species and uh, okay, so swarm intelligent algorithms include uh, uh, different species where, uh, which, which work in collaboration or tandem to form the, form the algorithm such as the so different species of uh, particle swarm. Then evolutionary algorithm, which is a genetic algorithm, differential evolution algorithm, cuckoo search, which adapt themselves with respect to the situation and uh, just uh, complete their tasks. Uh, like uh, in cuckoos, they, they, are, they are very intelligent and they just uh, try to, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, they just uh, copy the behavior and uh, patterns for uh, of, of, of crows and uh, lay their eggs in the nest of crows and then uh, uh, then when these eggs hatch, they throw the uh, eggs of like uh, cuckoos, crows out of the nest and hence getting the whole share of food for themselves. And uh, it is not actually, uh, what do you call, uh, depicted by the crows. Apart from that, there are other algorithms which are gravitational search, optimization, dolphin equilibration algorithm, bad algorithm and the various others. Uh, so uh, in present work, we'll be dealing with the cuckoo search algorithm based upon the brute parasitic behavior of the cuckoo algorithms. They are, uh, sorry, cuckoo search species found in nature. There are a large number of, the algorithm has been applied to a large number of optimizing problems and it's found that it is a really very promising algorithm. 
uh, it has been applied to using uh, levy flights to generate the step size for the what we call for the, for, for the global set phase and the local set phase, which is controlled by the switching probability. And uh, all of these, all of these add, add up to form an effective uh, Google search algorithm. The pseudocode for this algorithm is this, it consists of an exploration phase, which is governed by the global search equation using a levy flight based component. And then there's a second part, which is exploitation based, based is governed by the probability switch. And uh, in this uh, new solutions are generated uh, sometimes based upon live flights and sometimes using a random solution. Uh, apart from that, uh, this is a basic structure. And uh, let's further go forward and look into drawbacks of the Google search algorithm. So because uh, the algorithm uh, came into existence uh, uh, in 2010 and uh, it, it isn't more than 10 years since the tradition has followed and the algorithm has got suffered from a lot of uh, the problems such as uh, uh, parameter parameter based uh, problems so then the uh, uh, then there are the other things that, uh, that the algorithm sometimes gets stuck in the local optima and uh, maybe maybe have a few poor convergence so based on these uh, uh, it has been analyzed that uh, uh, division of population, which is already exploited in uh, Cook version one, uh, 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 work uh, for the same for, for, uh, work of export system and applications, and has been exploited here. Mm. That uh, division of population is a really good concept, and it can be uh, can, can be useful to uh, improve the exploration on a whole and exploitation within the which is within the certain section of the groups. And uh, also for proper values of uh, CS parameters should be identified though that uh, uh, the algorithm may not get stuck and there should be a balance. There comes a balance between the exploration and the exploitation properties. Then the effect of dimension size and the population size should be analyzed because these are the parameters which defines the, what do you call, uh, the number of function evaluation of an algorithm. So, so different different things different things have been uh, uh, incorporated in the algorithm and uh, in order to improve the, Effectiveness. The main purpose of this work is to improve the effectiveness of the Cuckoo search algorithm in line with the differential evolution GA and PSO, those algorithms which have already shown promising results with respect to the uh, existing literature. So in present work, in order to enhance, uh, because we got to know that there are three problems with the uh, first of all, we need to enhance exploration and uh, two modifications have been used, a new search equation for the global search phase have been used and to enhance the exploitation operation, we have used four such equations to improve the local search capabilities. And there is the third part, which is to enhance the stability. This, this parameter is added by adding a switch probability, which should be exponentially decreasing because we've already analyzed the things that uh, uh, using linear decreasing or some uh, random value values, but we want the best results corresponding to the exponentially decreasing switch probability. That's why I use exponentially decreasing switch probability in this case. So the algorithm comes like this and uh, the global search phase, we have divided the uh, algorithm into two parts. That is the first part, which consists of the iterations and uh, that is at line number five, the iteration T max by five. And the second part is uh, uh, the else part, which comes from 14. So, so if the if the number of iteration uh, is uh, greater than T max by two, that is uh, uh, for, for half more than half. Like for the second half of the population, the global search equation used is uh, uh, is over uh, shown over point number six, and uh, and the local search equation at point number twelve. Apart from that. Uh, for the first half of the iteration, the global search equation used is governed by point number 15 and uh, local search by 21. So we have used to balance the exploration and exploitation phase where like P is equal to P initialization and uh, P max minus P minimum T max. And apart from that population adaptation has been used using uh, what we call uh, uh, with respect to the maximum number of function evaluation and the minimum and defining a minimum and maximum population size. So the minimum population size is defined just because uh, uh, so so that the, uh, the that the search process may not get overcrowded or over uh, what we call very uh, uh, diminishing so that may it, it, it may it may uh, stop converging uh, prematurely so we need to define some a threshold that uh, if, if the threshold goes below this then the, uh, the, the population must stay at least at the minimum threshold so this is what we have done in the new proposed CS algorithms. Algorithm. Apart from that, the next section deals with the result and discussion section and uh, in the numerical results uh, in terms of uh, uh, CC benchmarks and, and algorithm parameters and statistical results and complexity of the CSN algorithm is proposed. 
the numerical result consists of a CEC 2017 benchmark problems as well as the CEC 2020 benchmark problem, uh, which, uh, which I'll be discussing later. And uh, then, 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 then there is algorithm parameters about initial population sets or all the algorithms into under comparison was taken to be 50, the, the, the probability, minimum probability and the maximum probability is taken to be 0 0.25 and 0 0.95 so that we have an exponential curve. Uh, not exponential exactly, uh, I'm mistaken, it's, it's a linear decreasing curve. So, so uh, it's like uh, uh, linear decreasing within the range of 0 0.95 to 0 0.25 apart from the three test statistical results have been presented that is for 10 dimension, 30 dimension and 50 dimension. The results are like this. You can pause the video and uh, just go through the results for 10, 30, and 50 dimension. Uh, for the result of uh, CEC 2017 and 2020, this is another scenario. So the complexity of the algorithm is also shown in this figure. It's, 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 it's really, uh, it has been done using the CEC 2017 function number 18, which has been referred in the literature. So uh, when we compared the algorithm, the CSN algorithm, it was found to be better than uh, <clears throat> J8 for 16 function, for shade for 16 also, MVM over 16 also, CB1, which, has, which is the recent version of CB, CSN algorithm, uh, performs only for A, uh, performs only better for 8 function and uh, CSN performs for 19 at that time and CVC, CV new algorithm which was proposed for uh, CEC 2019. Uh, we got better results in comparison to that also. For that, our, our algorithm showed uh, 17 best result in comparison to uh, 17 on 17 functions. Our algorithm is found to be best. Uh, the comparison for CEC 2020 benchmarks has been done and shown in the right part of the table for five dimension, 10 dimension, 50 dimension, and 30, 20 dimension. And uh, uh, the number of total number of functions is 10 because uh, this is a recent new algorithm and there is not much work which has been done to improve its performance. So we have not uh, added any other algorithm for comparison. Apart from that, the third section is the complexity analysis of CSC in algorithms and which is found that uh, it is a very good algorithm in comparison to the other state of the art algorithm for 10, 30 and 50 dimension. Uh, for, so this, this, uh, Concludes my paper and uh, here we found that the important conclusion which I have drawn is that the vision of uh, iteration and dual division of population uh, has been followed in local search phase to improve the local exploration and exploitation. Uh, the capability is linear decreasing function to ensure that the balance between the global and local search phase is achieved. Then uh, moreover, the concept of Cauchy-based scaling factor has also been introduced to enhance the performance of the algorithm. Uh, it has been found that uh, the they produce proposed CSN algorithm performed highly, but presents highly good results in terms of uh, with respect to other algorithm for future direction, the algorithm can be expanded to a real world optimization problem in the field of in various fields of research. So this is the main uh, theory and the rest of the, all these are references uh, which we have referred to. That's all, uh, thank you. Thank you for hosting such a good uh, environment this year. See, see, uh, I hope we would have joined there for sure at Glasgow, but uh, unfortunately due to the Monona, uh, situation, everything uh, got so much uh, trouble, but yeah, it's, it's good enough. Uh, we, we, we find it, uh, it, it really inspiring that we are shifting to virtual platform, which is a really good, uh, good thing over here. So, though, though, though it keeps less chances for person in person meetings and uh, you can get to know a lot of other people, but yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay unless and until we are uh, satisfied with the things which you want to do. So thank you. Thank you everyone for uh, uh, joining in, joining in my session and uh, that's all. Uh, we'll appreciate any uh, recent efforts uh, for the things. So really, thank you. Thank you for organizing such a big event.